Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting and salacious episode of The Public Affair. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to thank you guys again so much for all the love and support that you guys continue to show the show. I love it so, I, I'm just so appreciative, and I just want to hug everybody through the camera, and of course, to Rogue Media Network, with everybody who's involved with the production of The Public Affair behind the scenes. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. we got Mike and Allison over here today making sure I look super snackish. I put a monitor over here where I could see myself now, and I, did, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea because I'm just... Darling. <laughs> now, before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Davis Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office. I'll help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen, darling, for all your real estate needs. It's 2023. Time to treat yourself to a brand new home. And David Santabanez is definitely going to be the guy to do that. I can't wait to start looking for my shots. Hey, this year, darling. I told him by the end of the year, hopefully, God willing, we'll see. All right. David, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Oh, of course, the Pee Wee's Crab Cakes of Texas with my girl Nika Armstrong, serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cakes, pasta, seafood, and more. Now, my favorite is the Krabby Seafood Pasta, but the top recommended is the Southern Fried Catfish Special served with seafood, pasta, potato salads, and six fried shrimp. Now, the fish is topped with who that sauce. I'm not telling Dakota what it is because you got to head over to 108 Gym Drive in Hewitt or order online at order Pee Wee's Crab Cakes of Texas.com. Oh, and she has brunch hours now on Sundays. It's over. I'm about to make sure all her kids go to college. Anika, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Arturo and Eva de la Cruz with Arturo's Frame. They do wood framing for houses and all remodeling, darling. They also assist with building a brand new home. So, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a brand new home built from the ground up, Arturo's Frame has definitely got you. Habla ingles y espanol. Llame el número on the screen for more information for a free in-town consola- consultation as well. And follow on Facebook at Arturo's Frame. Arturo, Eva, thank you guys so much. Mil gracias those dos. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And, of course, to Waco fencing and stuff with Juan Morales. Now, Juan builds privacy fences and chain link fences, darling. Perfect for all that extra at-home privacy. Yes. He also does demolitions, builds wood decks, stone patios, and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flower beds, darling. You can contact him with the number on the screen for your consultation. Mr. Juan Morales, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. I truly appreciate you, brother. All right, guys. Been really excited about this guest for a very, very long time. Three years ago, when the public affair started, he slid in my DMs, and I was excited because he slid in my DMs, okay? Little does he know that I was liking and sharing all his posts because I really wanted to slide in his DMs and sleep with him. Well, it didn't go that way, okay? (laughs) Just a few weeks ago, I slid in his DMs again, and I said, okay, listen, I know that you asked to be on the show a long time ago, and I was waiting for the right time. Are you still down? He said yes. He went to go use the bathroom right before this, and he walked in zippering his pants up, and I was like, no, keep it down. Regardless of the fact, Mr. Dakota Wimberly, entrepreneur and former owner of Wimberly Woodworks, which I definitely want to talk about. You know, we got to talk about it. All right. Sure, is sure. here joining us on this episode of The Public Affair. Dakota, how you doing? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? Uh, th- remember when I told you to use your outside radio voice, that thing that you did before? Uh, that's what I want yeah, you yeah, to yeah. do. So, I'm doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> Isn't he great? Listen, I, I love having this stallion sitting in front of me now. For, for, it's, for, it's nice to meet you. This is, I think... All right, well, we, we met, met at Lowe's. We met at Lowe's. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have the, that regular job I told you about. First, before we do that, dude, yeah. that was incredible. Oh, that little run through you just did. Oh, you thank you. Beat, that was nuts. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing it too long. Okay, I was on the radio before this, and I did live reads forever, darling. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, well, I appreciate it. Everybody doesn't think that I do that live, like during the show. They think it's all pre-recorded, yeah, and nuts. it's not. 
So <laughs> thank you. I, look, uh, the nice handsome man complimenting me. All right. <laughs> no, we did. We met at Lowe's. Yeah. I, mean, I think that was our first meeting. Yeah. And I, I was with my friend Maro. Shout out because we work at the same place. And the, you know, I'm not a man for Lowe's. I don't buy lumber and fucking. You know. Oh, you were definitely out of place. Yeah, yeah I was. At, right. Did you see the way I was around. dressed? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was wearing my scarf and shit. I remember that. <laughs> I don't buy caulking though. No. <laughs> and that's actually my new favorite word at that place too. Caulking. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, were you doing Wimberley Woodworks at the time when you were in there? Or? Yeah, yeah. So that okay. just just started Wimberley Woodworks at the oh, time. So okay. it was, it's only been two and a half, almost three years. Since yeah, I yeah. Woodworks. I can't believe it's been that long. Thank you for being patient with me, by the of way. Course. I truly appreciate it. No, listen, there's so much that I want to dive in with you. Um, You know, when I was intro to you, you were a singer, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. correct? You were doing songs. And, that, you know, I don't listen to that music, but I was like, look at this fucking man, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be gay with you, Dakota. No, I'm dude, just it's, saying, it's, yeah. it's okay. Um, yeah. Man, I, I have, since I've been on Facebook, it's, yeah. it's easy for literally every type of person to come mm-hmm. into my my messages. And I, yeah. I, I'm, I don't hate against anybody because everybody that shows me love, That's it. It, it grows me. Are the gays in your DMs? They're, they they used to be. They used when to? I, when I did music, yeah. Yeah. But then you become a... a Construction owner, they don't really. Care oh oh no, that's when I'm in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> the construction ones are all. I'm all over that. Okay, yeah. Dakota. No. Uh, so how did that make you like? Were you sat like? I guess in in your personal perspective, when the gays were sliding in the DMs, and I mean, were they telling you, hey, like come over here and give me a ride or dude, something there, like that? There's or? honest to God, there's no one more straightforward than a gay dude. Absolutely. Like, and, and it's <laughs> it's flattering, but yeah. I spent my whole like first majority of my young childhood everybody thinking oh well he's gonna be gay he's gonna be gay. really why dude, i don't know i had, yeah. I had i got into an argument with my uncle one time and I was okay like, dude you're you gotta stop and i'm, just, I'm like the six-year-old seven-year-old boy and i'm yeah. like dude, you gotta stop i'm six yeah i'm supposed to like anything other than Yu-Gi-Oh cards okay yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well i don't know when i was six i was like in the boys in my class too i'm not gonna lie really? I, I knew from the womb that i was gonna have a man i life. Mean, yeah. i didn't even i didn't like look at even like the, the, the female teachers then yeah for sure but neither did i but yeah. Well, um, Dakota, there might be a chance. No. Uh, no, are you sure? No, yeah, there's no chance. I always tell everybody to try it once or twice. Not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let me shut the fuck up because I'm not gonna try it either. We yeah, had that conversation I, today, I appreciate actually. it. Um, no, yeah. But, uh, Did it ever yeah. get too sticky for you sometimes? Were they getting a little bit too comfortable at Ooh, some the, point? You had like to tell the, gay the gays? Or were you just like, yo, bro, okay, Man, I, relax. I, I, I just never messaged back. You just didn't? Okay. No, because it was like, I would say thank you and mm-hmm. I keep it cordial with everybody because everybody mm-hmm. deserves a response. Mm-hmm. And, you know, thank you with a smiley face. Yeah. Goes a long way. And then everybody appreciates you, and then you don't get canceled on Facebook. If you or on tell YouTube. me, thank, if I slid in your DMs tonight and then you said thank you with a smiley face, I would definitely be sending you my address after that. Oh, just, like, <laughs> but then that's when you stop responding. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, Dakota, listen, it, like I said, it, it's such an awesome time having you here. And so let's get to know you a little bit first. For anybody who may not know who you are, a lot of my people are probably like, okay, Andrew, who is this? Italian stallion that you have on the show, even though you're not Italian, but you're That'd be cool. hot. Yeah, you should be. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, life growing up and stuff like that, please, Dakota? Yeah. So um, basically my entire life, I've, I've been in construction in some form or another. Um, COVID hit yes. and it kind of slowed down everything. So before that, I was a superintendent for another construction company. Okay. And, you know, you make a little bit of good money and you start spending it all. Mm-hmm. When you've never had anything. When we grew up with... Not a whole lot. Thankful. Yeah. My great grandmother was always supportive. Always had a really good baseball bat. Or oh hell yeah! Like the best, you know. She was coming glove. through for the. Dude, she was. Man. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. But um, yeah. Then I, like in two thousand and early two thousand and nineteen, I started moving into building my own thing, and it oh, actually sweet. hit off on Facebook. Okay. So it was like this. I built a coffee table. And yeah. Everybody knows Chip and Joanna. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So you have this whole. Who have not responded scene. to coming on the show, by the way. I will say that. <laughs> Guys, you gotta get. They haven't. I don't even know them, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I but, know who they are. Obviously, I just yeah, don't know them. Everybody knows yes, them, dude. Okay. And that farmhouse thing took over. Like, yeah, it just yeah. Took over all of Waco for sure. So I built this farmhouse looking table, mm-hmm. and it was awful. Like the pictures looked great, <laughs> but the table was awful. That shit was crumbling or what? No, it just when I put my wine on there, it breaks. <laughs> it, it just it 
the fasteners, the way that I screwed it in, it yeah. just, you can you can hide it with with pictures. Oh, I so I did that and I posted it on Facebook, and everybody was like, "Man, I really want that table." Oh, okay. But at the time, I had 174 bucks left. Rent was doing like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today, I had bitch. no credit because I was in a relationship <laughs> for eight and a half years. Mm. That girl filed bankruptcy. I didn't, mm. so all of the debt fell on me. Oh no, dude, it was nuts. What the fudge? Yeah, so, I told y'all these girls be doing that to us. But no, crazy. no, go ahead, date crazy. your women and have babies with them. That's fine. Go. <laughs> so I didn't have a baby with that. That one. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have you, a baby you, you, on the way. You have a baby on the way. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulate. Thank you. I'm excited. Uh, I yes, I, I did stalk your Facebook, and the baby mama is cute. As I, I know, oh, you she's know. gorgeous. I know when I stand a chance and when I don't. Okay, like <laughs> yesterday, I knew I stood a chance with this other person, uh-huh. but today I was like, okay, not with Dakota. Do I get like a, a secret hand on who the other person was you behind a, the scenes? No. No. You get something else behind the scenes. But oh. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'm going to see. Okay. See, you just don't respond. No, no, that's, that's it. You, you just, just don't, don't respond. respond and you move on. Listen, that's it. What was the family dynamic like for you growing up? Though? I mean, that, you, I know that you said great grandma was was always in the picture and she was making sure that you guys were good. What about parents? What's going on there? Um, Wow, dude. <laughs> you just dive right into it. So, I, I'm like, sorry. It's good. It's good. No problem. Yeah. Uh, so... My actual childhood, mm. I would say, for the most part, is, is is great. Oh, good. Okay. So, um, I never never was into the drug scene. Never did. Right. Never, never drank. Never anything. But as far as my parents go, they were they were children trying to raise a kid. Okay. So my mom got pregnant at fourteen mm. and had my older brother, mm-hmm. and then a year later, or like eight months later, she yeah. got pregnant with me. Oh wow! So she's fifteen with two kids. With two my, kids, yeah. Yeah, my dad was seventeen and. He didn't have the greatest, you know, upbringing. Okay. So that trickled down. I see. Mm-hmm. And it, it just, it became this spiral of everybody wanting to raise the same way that they were taught. For sure. And I couldn't do it. Like oh, I, I had I to, when, luckily, I got with my great grandma uh-huh. and I had, um, the my great grandfather's name, his name is Roy. Yeah. And he... Dude, there's there's not a person who can say a bad thing about Roy. Oh, what's up, Roy? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so no, I mean I don't want to slide in grandpa's DMs. I'm just saying, what's up, Roy? Dude, he, <laughs> like I'll show you a picture of him later. Oh, okay, he, killer. How old is he? He he passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, he passed I was away. Gonna, I, uh, I'm sorry that that got dark. But <laughs> I was gonna say I accidentally slept with a 65 year old person. How do you accidentally like he, sleep with 65? Because he did not tell me he was 65, but his piece was 65. Right. And then after the fact, you know, I thought like 50s because I've been with people that are 50s. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so you know, late 40s maybe. And I was like, so um, just by the way, how old are you? And he was, he's like, I'm no, I was talking. Okay. To him. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> I was talking to him. He says, well, I, okay, I'm 65. I was like, you're 65 year old and both my parents. Like, you molested me. That's okay. <laughs> like, I'm Ouch. gonna press charges on you and sue you for everything that you have. <laughs> Jeez, dude. But I will tell you what, Dakota, his piece was not 65. But anyway, okay, go Well, ahead. you can get those little gas station pills, you know, those little black rhino. Whatever pills. he did, it worked. Man. Okay. They're insane. <laughs> Whatever he did, it worked. But anyway, not making Shout that out inappropriate. To you, dude. Yeah, I don't I'm not gonna tell you what his name is because that was only that one time. It was a grinder hookup. Yeah, but it does, was, it, does it start with a with an F? So about your grandpa and then <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, my my great grandfather yeah. and he um so he was uh he was, um, okay. he was a volunteer fireman for like oh, okay. thirty four years, thirty five years. Mm-hmm. Um just an absolutely incredible human being. Awesome, yeah. The guy that would everybody would come to and that, mm-hmm. you know, would took care of everybody in the family. And so I didn't get a lot of life with him, but what okay. life I did get with him, because he died when I was six. Oh, I see. What okay. life I did get with him. You just cherish. It, man, I've, yeah. I've tried to push everything towards being more like him. Oh, okay. And Kind of emulate him in a sense. Yeah, my yeah. great-grandma, her name is Dora. We call mm-hmm. her Nan. Uh, yeah. So Nan Nan always tells me, Hey, dude, you, you're you're just so much like him. Oh, that's you know, so I, awesome. You, yeah. You make it easy for me to miss him. It's okay, you know. Oh. But- I mean, that's that's what I strive to be. Okay, I got you. I got Com- you. Compared to the cycle, because somebody has to stop a cycle. Oh well, no, absolutely. And and it's so great that you say that too. That your parents were kids raising kids. You know, when we look back at it now, like I didn't get along with my parents either, Dakota. And we fought like cats and dogs, especially me and my dad. Like we're the same, except I'm the more feminine version of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just clash of the titans all the fucking time. But now when I look back at it, I see that they didn't have it all together, and it was it was a struggle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we'd be $100 in debt, and we fucking, I don't have children. I mean, how old are you? I'm 31. So I'm your age. Neither yeah. one of us yeah. know what the hell's going on. Exactly. We you just, know? You try to do as best as you can. Yeah. But at 30, 
Well, I don't what, know if I'm ready to be a dad yet. Well, okay, exactly. You know what I mean? And then in my early 20s, when I think about, because my dad was 20 when they had me, my mom was 23. And so when I'm trying to get my life together at that age, I'm like, damn, imagine if I would have had two kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, yeah. it, you see things through a different lens 100%. almost. Yeah, it's so crazy. But at the end of the day, I mean, the parents were still cool though, right? I mean, so you didn't have to deal with any abuse and stuff like that? or. Um. Uh... You I, they're, dig they're, into to, they're totally going to watch this. Oh my god! No, I, I don't mean to be intrusive, Dakota. <laughs> it, please, you know. I mean it's it's okay because yeah. like I mean they understand. Yeah, yeah. How I feel about some of the things and. Okay. Okay. It, it maybe you maybe, while you wish things could have been different, you understand why things played out the way they did. I don't. Oh, you don't. Okay, so I, okay. I mean, in my life, maybe it's the lens mm-hmm. of what I saw. Yes. And it's it's like, I don't I don't see how you can be. So, so mean. Mm, I see. I don't see how you can choose things like, you know. Again, I know they're gonna watch this. Uh, I love you guys. No, you guys no. are doing great. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Much better. But at the same time, you, I want to take this moment to kind mm. of, you know, show where you can come from. Yes. And, and build up people. Well, and that's that what it's all about. It. You're not by any means bashing anybody. Let's just clarify right. that 100%. right now. This is not by any means for you to be um, throwing salt in anybody's name. You are not defaming anybody. This Correct. is just your personal experience about what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. So and it molds you into who you are today. So, um, at first it was my, my dad, he yeah. was just, he was abused terribly by his dad. I see. I see. And again, like I said, that cycle continued. And that's all he knows. And that was it. That was all he knows. That yeah. was it. And until he, I mean, he was an extremely uh, just mean individual. Like mm-hmm. he was the meanest person I'd ever met. And he had this look in his eyes Yeah. and like, you can just, you can see when it's coming or, you know, he comes home from a bad day and just becomes extremely abusive. Absolutely. Like, there, there was one mm-hmm. time, dude, we... Me and my brother, yeah. his name is Tori. We yeah. we went and took a bath, mm-hmm. and you know we're we're five and six years old. For sure, and yeah. You're you're both naked in the bathtub, and when you're splashing, there's water going on all the floor. Over the floor. Yeah, and there's and there's no way to stop it. Right. And so I don't know if he had a bad day, mm-hmm. but he comes in there, and he always had this leather strop that he would he would uh, mm-hmm. he would use his knife on yeah. to sharpen it. Oh, I see. So he comes in there, grabs us up, and just starts screaming. Yeah. I told you not to get any in water on the yeah, floor. Yeah. Just goes nuts, and starts hitting us just everywhere. Right. For and sure. my mom comes in, and she gets in his face because my blood, my my brother had uh-huh. blood coming down his back. Oh, I he see. He was hitting us so hard. Okay. Okay. And that was just like, that was the environment that we were growing uh, up in. Yeah. I mean, not to get too deep, but no, no, he. He loved drugs. He loved alcohol. Mm-hmm. Those were his his vices. Dakota, all I can say is that I completely understand. Yeah. yeah so I get it now. Yeah. I mean, I get I get it now. Right. Do you know what I mean? They yeah, they didn't they, they didn't know any better. You know no. what I mean? And that yeah. that to them that was like normal. That was okay, and it's not acceptable. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, and if they were still that way, yes, it's I wouldn't have such a hard time talking about it because it's like uh-huh. I don't want I don't want them to think, okay, well, this is all he views me as because I don't. I, I'm, right. I'm extremely proud of both of them. Hell yeah. They've grown so much. Like yes. My mom, she went back mm-hmm. and got her GED. Good like for, good seven years ago. Oh yeah. Shout out to you, mom. And your and parents, you, your son's fine there. <laughs> just to shed some light on the situation. Okay. No matter what you did to him, he still came out fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, dude. She uh, she got her GED. Yes. Um, and then she went back to college. Oh. And she got her um mm-hmm. license in massage therapy. I see. Then she started her own business. It didn't do great, but mm-hmm. the, the fact that she went from nothing from yes to, to that. GED mm-hmm. to yeah. now I'm gonna get a two year degree. Now I'm gonna do this, and now she's um, she went back to school and she got her associates in, um, I don't remember what it, I think it's paralegal. She got her associates. She got more than I did. Yeah, so there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't even touch college. Dude, and now she's back in school again. Good for going her. for a bachelor's. Well, you know, and there, there's always time to, to change. There, you know, there what is, I mean? so I'll tell you what, do you, how's your relationship with them now? Um, it's been better it's with, been, my, with my mom. It's great. Okay, okay. With my dad, we're going through a little bit of thing and I don't think he even knows this, but I haven't mm. responded to him mm. in like the last month. Mm. And it's, it's it's the it's because it's like where I'm at right now. I see, I see. So there's one thing that I keep guarded at all costs, and mm-hmm. that's my peace. Okay. Because that's I've fair. been through so much. Like I'm gonna guard my peace. Absolutely. And mm-hmm. he he's been in this relationship. Okay, let's just get into it. <laughs> so he's been in this relationship. Let me get the wine now. Dakota, we're not dad, cutting anything out by the way. Go got, ahead. It's okay. <laughs> I, guess... I, I do love you. I know. But this, okay. here's the deal. Yeah. So. I told him about two months ago, I, was, I sent him a, an, 
entirely way too long. Are you way one of too those? Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Dude, it was like eight pages. Yeah, I can't do that. You should have just called me. Go ahead. <laughs> so I can't I stand when I fucking delete them hoes. So I'm like, I, yeah. I sent it to him and I was yeah. like, there's, there's, you know, this is what I've seen from you. Mm-hmm. This is what I expect in our relationship. Mm. And the number one thing was lying. Mm. So it took me until I was 25. Yeah to get out of the habit of being a pathological liar. Oh, wow. Dude, I lied about everything because I was oh, so insecure. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know how to, how to quite explain it, but I never felt like I was good enough. I see. So you, you think, okay, well, everybody thinks you look, you look pretty. Yeah. yeah, you're a good-looking dude. Well, great. Well, when I sing, what people don't hear is they don't, they don't see the 40 videos I shot before that where right. my voice messed up right here. Oh, I see. I but see. I only showed you everything that was perfect. That's it. And then Facebook shows you all these things that are perfect. Right. And so on the outside, man, everything's going great. Mm-hmm. But on the inside, it's like, dude, when you turn your head this certain way, don't take that picture. You got to oh. look at this way. Oh, yeah. We were you just know. dealing with that right before the show. Yeah, you, <laughs> no, but he's been looking at himself for like 30 minutes well, before no, the show. Okay, started. right now the, the monitor is on Dakota. They said that they weren't going to put it on me, okay? So I'm over here like, I'm over here like, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so no, my I was side. over here checking myself out like, hold on, wait, with that angle right there. Okay, go. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So yeah. I've, I've battled these insecurities. And so it was always like... I need to talk myself up. I need to be more than I really am. I got you. Mm-hmm. So I did that for so long that it became, sure. you know, force of habit. And yeah. you don't realize how much you lie mm. until you, you get into a conversation. You're like, okay, well, yeah, well, this, this, and this, and this. And then all yeah. of a sudden, I got to remember all of that. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Versus You have to, t- you have to remember that you told everybody that you're a Calvin Klein model. So like I, <laughs> I told, I told my dad, I was like, the number one thing is like, you need to tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. Be truthful with me. And so. I heard that he had got back with his ex-wife. Oh, wow. And which, you don't, you're not... Which I don't care. Oh, okay. Dude, I, that's the thing. I don't care. Like, right. But be honest. So when I call you and I can hear her in the background, mm-hmm. be honest. But how do you know she just wasn't side piece just at the time? Like It doesn't matter if she's a side piece or not. Oh, uh, okay, okay. We're supposed to be friends now. We're oh, supposed to have grown a relationship. Just, it's the trust. Okay. Exactly. I see what so, you're talking so, about. Okay. So be honest with Are you me. just not fond of her? Is that what the situation was? I don't care. I don't care. You just don't give a... Okay, and it's that's like, I don't care about like... Like a background character in your yeah, life. It, okay. I yeah. I mean... Like the B character. Like. She's she's nice. She's always been nice to me. That's she good. has no. her problems. Everybody has their problems. Absolutely. Like, I, I'm not going to sure. judge anybody. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, and then all of a sudden, we're, we're supposed to be talking every day. We're supposed to be friends. We're supposed to be... Because the whole... Like the the parent narrative yes. that went out the window. Okay, I see. a long time ago. I, I haven't been. They haven't been my parents mm. since I was seventeen. Right. You know th- that's to me that's something that's earned. Yes. And back then that wasn't earned. Okay, I see. So to mend my relationship, we have to get on a friendship level. Mm. I have to love you mm-hmm. as who you are, mm. not as my mom or my dad. Mm. So I tried to, you know, grasp that with my dad. But at the same time, like, again, my right. peace is protected. I have to be protected. Absolutely, yeah. And so I reached out, and I said, hey, I heard, and I've seen that you were back with her. Mm. Is that true? Just be honest with me. Okay. Because that's it. Honesty is the best Just policy. Just yes or no, yeah. You don't have to explain and he's like, no, you know, I, w- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get back with her and all this stuff, mm-hmm. and again, I don't care. Yeah. But just be honest. And then, I, then all of a sudden, they're in a relationship on Facebook. Oh, okay, okay. And is that still a thing? Is that still a thing? But you can publicize your relationship? I think so. As is long it? as you're not like an actual page. Remember when Facebook used to tell us that them hoes were single? Remember when MySpace you used to have your top three? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm yeah, going way too eight. far it was back. Top eight, yes. Dude. No, remember when Facebook <laughs> would tell eight? you, okay, Dak- yeah, it was top eight yeah, on was, MySpace. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and remember when fucking Facebook, remember that bitch? Facebook would tell you, that, okay, Dakota's single now, and everybody would be like, what, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what everybody. happened? Yeah, yeah, mind your business, bitch, all right? Okay, so you're, so you're more upset at the fact that he, he might have not. So just, just I wonder why fun. he would have just tell you, hey, Dakota, yeah, we're back together. Be- because I think, I think yeah. it's like deep, he's, he's still in that stage mm. that I was in for so long. Where, yeah. Well, I have to put on this, this character because I, I, I want everybody to love me. Oh, I see. And okay. the thing is, is everybody does love him. Right. He's a, he's a good dude now. He's yeah. a great dude. He still has his flaws. We no, all, like I said, sure. we all do. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, like, buddy, just. Just be upfront. Okay, I see. I don't want Facebook to tell me. I want you to tell me. Mm. And that's it. And so many people, they they're, they're, they need Facebook for everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I don't need social media to tell me what my dad's doing. I want okay. my dad to tell me you what want, my dad's okay, doing. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't relate to that because my parents, even though they fight like cats and dogs, have been together since I was a baby. So I don't. That's awesome. Yeah, they have. I don't know. Uh, let me tell you. Mom and dad, you know, I love you guys. 
we have been through the ringer as well. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck they have stood together this long. Like, I look at them and I'm like, Jesus, they used to fucking fight like all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they say the most vile shit to each other. I have no idea That's how. That's awful, much... too, dude. No, it is. Oh. And I never, I, like I said, like my, my dad and I did not have a good relationship at all. It wasn't until actually recently, Dakota, like just, just a few years ago, mm-hmm. where, I, you know, a lot of shit happened with my brother and stuff. And then the show started and my dad just saw me through a different lens i feel you know what i mean yeah. but then i look back and i'm like okay dad this is all he knew you know what i mean but he's also a spoiled brat because he's the youngest of 11 you know what i mean and my parents you, were, you said 11 yeah my dad is the youngest of 11 oh my god <laughs> you know what dude, i mean so he's he, that, so when all my aunts and uncles tell me and it, i don't want to get into me but i, I just <laughs> i see I'm things down. differently you know what yeah. i mean like so but when your thing it sounds like it's a little bit more heinous if i will you know what i mean yeah yeah to, to get off me for a second. So, oh, because <laughs> I, I have to ask. Oh, ask. ask. Okay. So, mm-hmm. you, you'd had a bad relationship with your dad for I did. Rocky. Yes. Just say Rocky. Oh, all the time. So, mm-hmm. I know a lot of gay people okay. have the hardest time coming out. How was that? To my parents, I didn't have. Well, okay. So me and my dad have never talked about it, but my dad knows because all yeah. his coworkers watch the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so perfect. So, I love so it. So yes. who snitched on him first? Yeah, no, no. Know. Okay, so I um. The fighting and stuff never had anything to do with me being gay. Right. I will tell you that. I was never, um, nobody in my family ever was like, oh my God, that's wrong, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And and my parents were not, I mean, obviously when I was growing up, it was like, okay, this is for boys, this is for girls, you need to do this because this is for boys. I don't have an issue with that. You know what I mean? I just, I didn't want to fucking go play outside and play no tag. Like, (laughs) I want to to sit inside and be clean. You know what I mean? But the fighting had never had to do with me being gay. It was never about that. It was just because like, I talked back a lot because I'm that type of person that speaks up. You know what I mean? And so when I'm right about something, I know that I'm right about something. And the thing is with him is that he has to have the upper hand. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there was a lot of back talk going on and I got my ass whooped a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then, you know, my dad wasn't the nicest person growing up either though. For sure. So now, I wouldn't say the level of abuse was like yours. Right. You know what I mean? But the, my dad was more vocally like we said, he said some mean things to me. You know what I Dude, mean? That, and, that hurts just and, as and, much. And it hurts as it much. But, but at the same time now, I think he sees things through a different lens. Yeah. And, and again, it never had anything to do with me being gay. But I think that I moved out when I was 18. And so I did everything for myself since I was 18. I was like, I'm not going to, I don't need you guys for shit. I'm, I'm going to do this myself. I don't give a fuck what I got to do. I'm going to do everything for myself. Then I built all this. And my dad's like, I'm proud of you. That's you know what I mean? And that's, that's a it. great so, feeling, too. And, and it is. And I'm happy that we're in a place now where we're, we're okay. You know what I mean? And we're yeah. good. And, you know, a lot of it had to do with my brother. My brother's in jail right now. And so a lot of it had to do with that. And so, but no, they never, ever, it was never had to do about being gay. Mm-hmm. But I'm also not going to go to my dad and talk about gay shit. Like, you know, you know, yeah, I mean, like yeah, I said, like the person that you see now, it. the person that you see now, uh-huh. my dad is exactly like me, yeah. except he's just a lot more <laughs> masculine. You know, so I'm not going to be like, hey, dad, I sucked this nigga's dick last night. Like, right. I'm, the, the dad doesn't want to know about that, that gay ass shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Anyway, Dakota. Yes. Back to you. But anyway, listen, yeah. um, I, I just think so. So you and dad are just not on the best of terms at the moment. Do you think that there's there's room to rebuild? Oh, 100%. I'm yeah. Not, I, I, don't, I don't hold anything against, like, anybody. Like, I'm the nicest. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Just easygoing individual. Yeah. But, like, again, it just goes back to protecting my peace. Like, okay, okay. There was a time I didn't I didn't talk to my mom for, like, four years. Yeah, I see. Mm-hmm. That was that was my doing. Yeah. Um, I was 17, and I started dating her best friend, who was 30. <sighs> had, she had three kids. That sounds about why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I, was, dude, was, it was so was bad. I, I dropped out of high school. Like, and got with her 30 year old best friend. Dude, it was nuts. Isn't that rape? It should be. Like, <laughs> Dakota, do not get me arrested on my show, please. I mean, it wasn't. I, I don't, don't want to get anybody. anybody arrested on my show, is what I should say. No, and she was 30 and you were 17. I was 17. You know what? I'm not going to lie. Some of my dad's friends are hot too. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> you, just, you just said, like, you know, when I was 17, I was looking at some of my dad's friends. I was like, what's up, dad's friends? You know what yeah, I mean? You but, just said five minutes ago you slept with a 65 year old dude. So if you go that's backwards. <laughs> If we go backwards, Dakota, don't yeah. do me. Don't read me for filth on my show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was very open about that on the last episode. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was. I told you his piece was not 65. He was 65. Okay? There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that so does you didn't not talk, work in the court. So it's law. because you were in a relationship with a 30 year old friend? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did she buy you your fucking notebooks and shit for school? Oh, like? dude, no, she was broke. I ended up dropping out of. Uh, oh, I dropped Dakota. out of high school to go work two jobs, man. I was a, a model for Abercrombie and Fitch. 
Um, You're such a liar. Seriously, I, I wasn't on the I wasn't on the bags or anything. Oh, okay. But if you work in Abercrombie and Fitch, you're considered a model. Like for Abercrombie and Fitch. Wait, 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 wait. No, I was not on a bag, dude. Wait, so you were? Hold on, I I can't with this shit today. You were. You, you wanted were, me to come here, so you were here it is. Seventeen. Seventeen. Dating the thirty year old. Thirty with three kids. She didn't have no money. Her daughter was fifteen. Oh wow! Did, I mean, were you guys in the same science class together, or like? No, dude. How did that even happen? Um. <laughs> Dakota, okay, listen. All right, enough about the 30-year-old, please. Listen, uh, we have to take a quick break, okay? And when we get back, I, I definitely want to get to know a little bit more about you. You know, um, one thing that really stuck out to me was Wim- Wimberly Woodworks. Okay, right. I know that you had a lot of things going on with that, and I hope that we can talk about that because I think it's it's vital to talk about. And it's something that I've been wanting to get into with you for a long time. Sure. Um, and, and, you know, just you as an entrepreneur, you know, you're, you're doing your thing. You got a lot of social media content out there, and you're – being a creator, listen, I'm sorry, I can't. The 30 year old 17. <laughs> listen, you guys, we're going to take a quick break so I can get my shit together. And when we get back, we're going to learn more about Dakota Wimberly, um, the, the businesses that he's created, the fall, and, and much more. <laughs> I'm sorry, 30 year old. Stay tuned on The Public Affair. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this. I don't even know what to say episode of The Public Affair with Mr. Dakota Wimberly. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode was brought to us by Jay Perez and Henry Flores with Waco Made Granite. They offer amazing granite quartz countertops, backsplashes, and so much more. Perfect for rentals, flipping homes, and just for something new and fresh. You know, you get the new chateau, you want a new countertop. You got the old chateau, you want a new countertop. He told me that they were sturdy too, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> I, oh, listen, Jay Perez and Henry don't stop there. They do so much more. So you guys got to hit them up with the number on the screen. You can also mention this ad for a special public affair pricing for only $37 a square foot for level one material. Call the number on the screen for a consultation. Follow on Facebook at Waco Made Granite to Jay Perez, Henry Flores. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Julian and Ana Banda with Banda's Hauling Service. Ooh, they rent dump trailers. You fill it up and they haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town. You need a tow? You got to hit up Banda's Hauling Service. He says he'll be there in 20 minutes. He'll be there in 10 minutes. Super punctual. Super reliable. I'm not recommending anybody else except Bandas Hauling Service. Book now with the number on the screen to Bandas. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Ooh, of course, to Lisa, Luna, and Amanda Switzer with Embrace Fitness. That's right, darling. Teach group fitness classes that are fun and absolutely dynamic. It is 2023, New Year, New You. That's right. Specialized in Total Body Workouts by Exco Latin by Jackie and Zumba Step. Classes are Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. And you can also contact them to rent the building out for parties and small events. Embrace Fitness is definitely the way to go hit my girls up and they're gonna have you looking as snatched as they do thank you ladies so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course the maldonado construction with gilbert maldonado you can call for all concrete work such as foundations driveways patios sidewalks and so much more also retaining walls and much 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 more now gilbert says that i sound a little bit nervous when i do his ads because he's a construction worker (laughs) follow on facebook at maldonado construction and landscaping hit him up on the number on the screen for a consultation also if you mention this ad as well you get a special price don't forget to mention the public affair that's where you heard it Maldonado Construction thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to an elite barbershop with Sid Rodriguez located on Hewitt Drive you can call the number on the screen to book or download the Squire app to book your next appointment with your favorite barber walk-ins are welcome as well because they have ooh get ready Marcus Grill Chris Reyes Santos Cordova David Rodriguez Isaac Chavez Clint Fletcher and Isai over there making you look as snackish as I have for more than 130 episodes of the public affair elite barbershop thank you guys so much for being longtime sponsors of the show truly appreciate you guys of course to one of my new sponsors vences transport llc with my boy lee vences is a local transport service from waco who does work all over the united states providing hot shot services from rvs travel trailers fifth wheels toy haulers and so much more you gotta follow my boy lee vences with this new business venture vences transport llc for more information thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair i truly truly appreciate you and of course, the Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez located at 3304 Franklin Avenue. They offer team, small group, and individual skills training. They have elite training with professionals, darling, making your kids superb star athletes. Open play is Mondays and wages, Wednesdays for ages 16 and older with, at 8.30 p.m. with Morrow. I call him Silly Buns because he's like this big and he's aggressive, but we're best friends. He's a Silly Buns. Only $5 to pay. Follow on Facebook at Soko Soccer Academy and Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. Thank you guys so much for being longtime sponsors of the public affair. All right, guys, we're going to get right back into it. Dakota Wimberly is here talking a little bit about his life and some failed businesses and what he's got going on now. Listen, Dakota, before we continue, I just have, I just want to touch on the 17, 30 year old type thing. Uh, first of all, was it good? 
I'm gonna be respectful to. Uh, do the girl you still talk I'm, to her? No, no, no. I'm respectful to the girl that I'm with. Oh, I'm oh, not, no, oh, honey. What's her I name? Was, what's her name? Susan. What's her name? Who? Taylor. 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 Yeah, Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Susan is somebody else that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, honey, we're just talking about the pat girl. You know, <coughs> listen. Taylor knows that if she had some wine with me, we, we'd have this conversation as girls on the side. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just a country gentleman, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't was, answer that question then. Oh, okay. I will just just to clarify. As a seventeen-year-old, mm -hmm. it's awesome to to be with somebody older. If, if that gives you the yeah, you're answer. right because I I have a rule: you have to be older than me. Hundred percent, absolutely, you have to be older yeah. than me. Yes, is Taylor older than you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, she's not 17 though, is she? Oh no, God, no. Oh, please dude. don't let her be sad. No, man. I don't want my show in the criminal she's investigation. In she's in the 20s. We're, we're all cool. uh, Taylor's hot. No, I listen, I did see a picture of Taylor on Facebook. Taylor is smoking. Uh, you pregnant or not pregnant? She looks amazing. You did good. She, and I asked about Taylor the other day, and she was like, she's like, what is the thing that you 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 fell in love with me for? Mm -hmm. We were sitting there at um this Mexican restaurant in Temple. Yeah. She was like, and I and I looked at her and I said, you know, why did you fall in love with me? Mm -hmm. And she came up with this answer and and she was, looked at me and she said, uh, "Why did you fall in love with me?" Yeah. And the one thing that came like to my mind was like, "You have." There was one day I was I was looking at you and you weren't you were looking away. Yeah. And like you have the most beautiful side profile I've ever seen. Wow. And then she started crying. She's like, she blamed it on the pregnancy. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. the pregnancy hormones, but like it just. I mean, that it was is, just one of those honest things. That is so cute. Yeah. Can't help it, man. I, nobody will ever tell me that. They always say, "Okay, I'm leaving now." <laughs> you know what I mean? Just the other night, it was like, all right, I'm leaving. Like, yeah. oh, all right, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Nobody will ever tell me that they loved me, okay? <laughs> Somebody loved me. Yeah, do you have any construction worker guys that might want a little little taste of the man pond? Or? No, man. No, are um, you sure? You can ask them. Just you know, give them you, my number. You, you don't realize, like, how many, like, Closeted construction dudes. Who are you? you don't play with me. It's nuts. What? Don't don't you dare play with me. They're full. On, they're all on grinder. And listen, nuts. I oh, there's this one that is just my type for days. Go for it. I can't, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, you know what? It's, it's beautiful. Every time we get together, we make music. No, you know what? I have one loyal side piece right now. Yeah, We've yeah. known each other for a very long time since I was 18 years old. Occasionally, you know, he's not in a relationship anymore. So, <laughs> but I will say, you know what? When the person was in a relationship, he was faithful as fuck to her. That's what's I up. will say that. He, we Shout never messed around one fucking time when he was in a relationship with her. Yeah. Now they're not in a relationship, so we be fucking like rabbits. But you know, that's besides <laughs> the point. Okay? <laughs> you know, and I will I was, I was a like, cool as fuck. I love, oh, I'm not in love with him. I'm just saying I love that guy. We've known each other for a long time. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, was, yeah, of just, course he came back. Like, I got that box. What are you talking yeah. about? Anyway, listen, Dakota. <laughs> okay, um, I want to I want to get into um, a little bit about Wimberly Woodworks. So, okay. um, I, of course, I've seen the songs and stuff, which I might ask you to sing a tune later, but um, if you can. And I don't have my guitar. Oh, you don't have your guitar. Okay, that's fine. Listen, um. I remember seeing a post on social media and everything that we're about to talk about is alleged. Okay. Before I get sued. <laughs> okay. It's alleged. So uh, it's, it's alleged. <laughs> yeah. It's alleged. Uh, thank yeah. you. Okay. So, um, I remember seeing a po you you built Wimberly Woodworks. I remember you making the post saying we're starting this company. It's going up, and it seemed like not too long after that, everything just kind of crumbled down. Can we have a little bit of a play by play of what went on, Dakota? Like from the beginning of Wimberly Woodworks. I mean, you know, just yeah, like little yeah, paraphrases. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Um, it, it actually didn't crumble. Okay, um, okay. It it's more so of because I have the baby on the way. I want to be. Mm. I want to end that cycle. Oh. The cycle we're talking about. So I'm, okay. I'm trying to be steadfast in the fact that I need to mm. have my stuff grounded, in a way. But what it is basically, I had 174 bucks left. You know, yes. the Chip and Joanna thing. They were killing the farmhouse. So for sure, I made the coffee table. And then all of a sudden, I got two orders of that same coffee table the same yeah. day that I posted. Mm -hmm. And it helped that I had the music background because I had such a big following. Yes, I for was sure. getting hundreds of thousands of views. I was like, he songs. sings and builds things. I sing Jeez. country music. Yes. Like beautifully. You could still, you could do a little <laughs> acapella for us. You know, I had Holly Tucker on the show. Who? Holly Tucker. Do you know Holly Tucker? Yeah. I don't know if she's going to watch this, but if you do, I Holly, hope she does. <laughs> we actually have the same mentor. His name is Chris Womack. Oh. Chris Womack. Is the guy like okay? This is a whole nother dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, okay. <laughs> just, just give her a shout out. Yeah, Holly Tucker. <laughs> yes, you, you guys Chris have the Wombat. same. Yes, beautiful guy. There you go. Okay, now back to Wimberly Woodworks. We're trying so, to get yeah. to the juice. Yeah, we're in the we're in the middle of the prime rib here. Okay. Yeah. So it mm -hmm. was. I started the company. Mm -hmm. 
I had rent due. I had no credit. Yeah. So Lowe's has this thing where they offer it's called progressive leasing. Mm. And I just had um, the last two week, you know, paycheck that I got. For sure. So I used that to kind of fabricate the fact that I was still working. Yes. And I got approved for the progressive lending and it bought the tool that I needed to create the other two tables. Oh, I see. I took one, the one job, the profit, put it into the other. And then all of a sudden posting those two mm-hmm. got me like five more jobs. Oh, there you go. And then it just started doing this spiral it's a effect. Spiral then. Okay. And I remember that was in November. Yeah. And then November, December, I ended up getting enough money just to cover the rent. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And um so I I went back and on you know how everybody wants to have these goals. Yes, You for want sure. to have these goals that you want to hit. Yeah. Every company should have goals. And so I put down quarter one, I want to do 25000 Quarter mm-hmm. two, I want to do 25000 And then, you know, so on and so on for the rest of the year. And I got to the point where the first two months had gone and I'm, I was only at like 11000 Yeah, yeah, for which sure. Is still great, no, it's still great because it's went from nothing. Yeah. It's more than what and, I make in two months. And so. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, shit. And I have a two-time award-winning show. <laughs> a great, great show. Thank you. Way, okay, but show. I'm definitely not making $11,000 in two months. I saw that, too. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. I was happy. Um, so I I went I went back to mm-hmm. my office one day. I call it my office. Yeah, it's just my little sure. coffee table. Not one. I didn't build this one. Yeah. But I went. I went back to the office and I started looking at the goals and everything. And all mm-hmm. of a sudden, dude, I got a I got a text message. Yeah. And meanwhile, I just brought my brother on. I hired my brother for sure. And um, his name is Tori. Shout out Tori. Mm-hmm. Shout out Tori. So mm-hmm. I brought out brought out Tori and I get a phone call from Bass Pro Shop and they're like, Hey, can can you install a toilet dispenser in the men's restroom? And that's I was a, like, that's a big deal. I said, I said, unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I dropped everything. I looked at my brother and said, dude, this is it. Oh yeah. This Remember when it. we had our first celebrity guest on the show, bitch, we didn't, we dropped everything too. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. You have to. And, Got it. Yes. and so like, I, I went up there the same day, Yeah. which you're not supposed to, because when you get in a commercial, you have a PO process. Oh, I heard something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cause you have to get these purchase orders yes. and work order agreements and mm-hmm. then contracts and COIs and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, to go for into sure. It. But anyways, I went up there and I finished the job same day. Yeah. Sent pictures, sent everything. And I called the lady and she was like, hey, while you're there, can you fix the water fountain? Mm. And I still have the pictures to this day. I've never worked on a water fountain, but I was like, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, he was I'm, a pathological liar. So yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, at that then. point, he could fix everything, including relationships <laughs> in these DMs. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> so I had, I'd healed from the pathological. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just really wanted this contract. <laughs> So <laughs> he's fucking Google how to fix a fucking dude. I swear to God, I YouTubed it. Yeah. I YouTubed it, and I called. I called the lady, and I was like, "Okay, I found the problem. There's yeah. a leak in the chlorination filter. I don't know how I came up with chlorination filter. Yeah, yeah. But when I Googled the piece after spewing all of this nonsense, yeah, there was actually a leak in the gasket in the chlorination filter. Oh, okay, okay. So I ordered it. It came in a week and a half later. Yeah, and then. It fixed it. That's it. It fixed it. And you're like, thank God. Dude, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. And the sad part is, like, as soon as I fixed it, uh-huh. I pushed everything back in, and there's an outlet in there. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I pushed everything back in, the um, the ground wire sparked. Yeah. And it blew up everything. But luckily, <laughs> it's a big building. <laughs> yeah. They had right. a GFCI, so yeah, I just yeah. flipped the breaker. It was good to go. <laughs> Freaked out. I called my brother. Yeah. I was like, I messed up everything, dude. <laughs> dang it. And so, so that was your first big job. That was yeah. That was, it wouldn't yeah. even consider it big. It was just oh, okay. it was the initial. But with Bass Pro Shop, I mean that's correct. a big company. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It went from these small one-off builds yeah. to a fixing cons- yeah, fucking water fountains. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so they said, "Well, what what is it that you actually do?" Okay. And so I I do woodworking. So there's these two benches outside of the Cabela's here in Waco. I did those. Oh, okay. My company. Or I'm going to go I, sit on them. them just for promotional purposes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Can I sit on them with nothing on? Go for it. I, I, you I might will. go to jail for like. No, I wear a robe. Indecency. I just did that sexy photo shoot. Shout out to Joe Leo. Did you see those? Uh-uh. With my robe? With just my robe in the chair? Uh, oh, for the new for the new public affair pictures. Uh, well, it's, it's just stock photos. It's not, it's for clarification, it's not the cover photo of the show. Should but yeah, they were just stock photos. It. Yeah. Whoever does, whoever does your photography. That awesome. was Joe. I always have a different photographer, but this time it was Joe Leo. Picture this photography. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I was sexy. Saw them legs. Did you want to sign in my DMs after you saw that? No. No. Couldn't do it. Taylor wouldn't mind. She wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah. She'd kill me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, okay. So you built those two things. Okay. So yeah. so Wimberly Woodworks is on the rise, this and that. Okay. Yeah. It was such a random thing. For, for sure. Google. For sure. And so I did those two benches okay. and then they were like, well, we have this gun library that needs to be remodeled in, uh, in Buda. Yeah. And, you know, at the same time, I just closed, like, another two months or so of contracts. Like, everything is just moving fast. That's it. And 
so I needed more employees, and I, so I brought on um, my brother. Actually, went and worked somewhere else, so I brought on another employee, mm-hmm. and I told him I was like, "Hey, we got this job, this job, and this job," and ended up getting three Bass Pro contracts in in a month. Hell yeah! And they totaled out to almost ninety thousand dollars for just those three. Yeah, for sure. And they were. It was it was two and a half weeks of work. That's for it. Ninety thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Sign me up too. Yeah, dude. It was I'll nuts. sleep with anybody for nine thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it 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 just kept spiraling into these big for things. Sure, we were sure. in San Antonio, then they brought us out to Florida. So you're it, going everywhere. It was yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. So at what point did things just start going south, Dakota? Um, they didn't start going south until uh-huh. about three four months ago. Yeah. So, well, I don't know because that Facebook post was at least last year. Which one the. The the there was supposed some, there was supposed stealing going on. No, that was three months ago. Alleged. Oh, was that yeah. three months ago? Yeah, that was. Why do I feel like that was last year? What fucking time zone? Because it was in? last year. It's oh my god, it is. Okay, yeah. No, okay, so that was just recently. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah I, I, you mentioned the, the Wimberley Woodworks is kind of going away. This is what happened. Mm-hmm. You didn't get too into detail. Right. Right. Yeah. We want to know. What, we want to know what first. happened. No, fuck the respect. Yeah. Yeah. I, at first, I was respectful. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that first year. Of my, my company's actual full first year, I did half a million. Mm. From nothing, 174 bucks to half a million, to this year I did over a million. Hell yeah. Which is, it's been incredible. I've, I just need $20. I, I'm going to give you 20 bucks. I'm, <laughs> I'm, kidding, you 20 I'm bucks. kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> so, I mean, as, as far as, like, the business right now, okay. every, everybody can get into business right now. It's so easy to be in business with oh, the world the way okay. it is. Yeah. Except real estate. Real estate's a little sketchy right now. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with the economy. But if you want to start a business... Now's your chance. It's 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 still there. <laughs> it's it. all still there. Okay. But so I am I have I have three or four employees at the time and I just brought this guy on. Yes. Right. I brought him on and he was doing great. He yeah, was yeah. Fantastic. For sure. Um put on a great front. Okay. You know, That's one of those yeah. one of those good old boys. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> no names. Yeah, no, please don't say no names. First of all, I don't want nobody whooping my ass. Second yeah. of all, I can't afford a lawyer. Okay, yeah. so there you go. You still need 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> but yeah, dude, so this guy, like, we go and do a job for the city commissioner. Yeah, yeah. Right? We go do a job for the city commissioner. He's been wanting me to come out here and do this. It's a beautiful old home, like a colonial mm-hmm, home. Mm-hmm. We go out and we go to re- remodel his house. And so it's a four-day job. Well, there's a power washer on site that mm-hmm. that this guy you know, kept in his truck mm. and was supposed to bring it back and kept, you know, mm. kept keeping it. Okay. And he kept it so long that the person he borrowed it from yeah. started contacting me saying, hey, I still don't have it back. Like, where's my power washer? Well, yeah. at, the, at the same time, uh-huh. we were at another person's house mm-hmm. and there's some EpiPens. They're like, yeah. they're, EpiPens are like 600 bucks a piece uh, right okay. now. Okay, damn. Yeah. 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 So he he picks him up and he's like man what are these and i was like those are epipens just dude those are expensive yeah yeah those are outrageously expensive well the next day taylor goes to that job site uh-huh to go um start i think she was taping off before we painted right right she goes to look at it and she's like hey did you take those epipens off uh-huh. of the counter and i was like oh. no so somebody yeah yeah so this this took person the it took the freaking epipens wow man. And I called him. You know that for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. Well, yeah. So I called him. I said, "Hey, why did you take the epipens? Yeah, or or did you take the epipens?" And he's like, "Yeah, I took them because um, I wanted to make sure that nobody else was going to take them." Like, what? So you took them (laughs) to give them to the customer, which owns the house. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, you you just didn't put them in the drawer or something, like in the cabinet. Doesn't make any sense. (laughs) Yeah. And meanwhile, I had just bought the dude a new truck. Yeah. Oh, wow, really? Like, yes. Oh, you did all that for this person. Well, I had started mm. a GoFundMe. Okay. Well, the GoFundMe canceled on me because I never put my um my ID verification in. So it all <laughs> it all canceled. Yeah. And so I had... Sorry, I was in shock. I was oh, you're, you're great. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. Worries. So I'd already put the money in for the truck because uh-huh. he just wrecked. He messed his leg up. He just wrecked. And so I'd already put all the money in for the truck. And the money was all refunded. So I'm like, okay, I'm sitting here and this is not good. So he's he's got the truck. I'm happy. We're still working, whatever. And then I get a call from another customer, customer that he was doing some some other work for. I'm not going to mention the type of work because then, yeah, yes, please, you know, yes, yes. So he was doing some other work for that he All never right. finished. Yeah. So he, and this was a customer we'd done over a hundred thousand dollars for. Mm. Like in in the last two months, we'd already done over a hundred thousand dollars worth of work yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's saying, well, they never he never came back and finished what he what we've already paid him for. Oh. So now that's three things. This okay. all happened at once. So did you did you know this person personally, or was it just as somebody that you? This was a, a person that was referred to me. 
Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta be careful with the referrals. Yeah, right. Double check. Yeah. Background checks. Triple, quadruple uh, these days. Okay. So this person was referred to you. They come in, yep. you trust them, and all of a sudden they're they're kind of like tarnishing the name of Wimberly Woodworks in a way. One hundred percent. Yeah, because you're you're not finishing jobs allegedly. You're allegedly yep. stealing epipens. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they and they all knew because like yeah. a lot of the people that I do work for, yes. they know me for sure. They know me personally. Yes. I've never stolen anything. Well, actually, I take that back. I did steal one time. Yeah. So. Nick Baker, if you watch this, um, I stole a Game Boy Advance when I was eight years old. Go move on. Okay. So I, I, Game Boy Advance. I had Game Boy Bro. Advance. Yeah, but we're not talking about Game Boy I traded it for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. Oh, I would have whooped your ass. Ah, dude, yeah. it was stupid. <laughs> that was the only time I ever stole. I cried about it. Okay, okay. It so sad. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, so this... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so so somebody is starting to change yeah. the name. Okay, so I, did they did they take anything from you? Um, not that I Allegedly. know of. Okay, okay, I got you. So at what point? Why does all of that all of a sudden mean? Okay, we have to. I remember the post being so distinct, talking mm-hmm. about you know I, I trusted somebody, we did this for this person, we mm-hmm. did this for this person, um, and then all of a sudden everything just kind of goes haywire. Yeah. It's like, this is going to be the end of when really woodworks. This is my last job, blah, blah, blah. Like, why did that person influence so much on that? Was there, was there money being taken? Like, or, or what's going so on? So I had just landed a $360,000 contract with Sephora. Yes. Oh, with Sephora? We were scheduled to remodel three Sephoras. Yeah. As all the millworks. We were getting, like, um, there was one in Fort Worth. Right. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether they, they right. we had three of them. Sephora's. Okay. So, Sephora's everywhere. Yeah. Um, we had, four months worth of jobs that yeah. were scheduled to be done. Uh-huh. Well, the customer we were doing the hundred thousand dollars worth of work for yeah. that he didn't finish the work. Um, that he himself, he had his own little stuff that he was doing for them on the side. Yes. Yes. Right. He tried to sell them the EpiPens that he stole from the other customer. What the actual fuck? They called me and they were like, Hey, do you know about these EpiPens? Yeah. And that's when I was like, got him. Oh, wow. Now I see everything. Now Who I see sells? everything. Mike, do you need some EpiPens? Like, mm. Allison, I know Allison has a cold. Does she need some EpiPens? <laughs> like, what's your adrenaline fuck? boost? I don't, I've never Dude, and thought. they were out of date. The EpiPens that means they don't even date. work. It doesn't. Terrible. Wow. So what's going through your mind? All this is going on. and The only know. thing going through my mind okay. is I have a huge social media following. Yes. Like, it's, I mean, there's millions of people. You've seen it on my Facebook. Oh, absolutely. There's millions of people yes. a month. You get a lot of engagement. Yeah. And so... When you when you put that out there, and now I've got to defend mm, myself. Mm. Well, now, now Wimberly Woodworks is mixed with that. Oh y- yes, and, and yes, and not only that, I still have another eighty thousand dollars in this other contract that I have to finish. Right, that wasn't scheduled to be finished because we had the other Sephoras and all that other stuff yes, going on. Yes, and we had just finished the Home Goods in Waco. So if you ever been to that Home okay. Goods in Waco, my I've company, never been, but okay, that's you. Okay. My company did that. Oh. Um. Beautiful in there, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go look. I swear. <laughs> so, no, I said I'm going to go look. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not drunk. I'm not... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna but, anyways, yeah, dude. So, like, we had everything, you know, scheduled perfectly. Yes, yes. And the hardest part of any business right now, in my opinion, is getting employees. You cannot find employees. No. And if you do find employees, I you gotta that. pay so much. Yeah. Because, I mean, you got Amazon paying like 22 bucks an hour okay, to go do nothing. Damn. Yeah. No, no offense to anybody that works no, at Amazon, yeah, but okay. it's like I'm waiting on my package on now. Don't be that. We're fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I ordered it three no, days ago. It's supposed to be next so, day shipping. So, so why did this person influence so much the end of Wimberly Woodworks? Or, they, or, they influenced a huge hit. Okay. Because fin- financially, correct. Okay. What, what it what it like had done is it happened at the time that the the market was shifting. Yes. So. Economy wise, everything's been slowing down the last six months right. drastically. Right. So that hit took that three hundred and sixty thousand dollar job out because now the customer that we had the other eighty thousand to do wants us on site until mm. we're done, which puts us there for two more months. Oh, I see, I see. So now everything that was prior gets pushed. Including that including con- Sephora. Oh no. Because this contract came before that contract. So how did you not shake the life out of him? We n- we haven't seen each other since. Did you ever confront him and say, "Hey, what the fuck"? We, we like, haven't seen each other, but we can. Conf- I confronted him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went he went nuts. Like I'm, I'm gonna bury this kid. And I was like, "Dude, you're not that guy." Bury as in yeah, allegedly yeah, yeah. trying. Yeah, he's gonna, he was gonna take me out. But he, he, yeah, you're but not like, that guy. is there a reason why he didn't just fess up and be like, "Bro, look, I made a mistake." Like, you know what I mean? I mean, not that we could speak for him, but there I mean, had to have been a, like an ulterior motive or like a purpose. You know what I mean? 
So I don't I don't know what the underlying issues were. Right, right. I mean, there's obviously something in the background right. for you to be that way. Absolutely. But I mean, just from the time that I did get to know him, he he didn't have the best upbringing either. Okay. But he he seems like a great dude. Right, right. And I you know I trusted him. Do you think there's room for forgiveness? Oh, I forgive him 100. percent Oh. I, I I don't like I said I don't hold anything against okay, him. Okay, okay. Like everybody makes decisions that puts right. them in the place that they are at do you, that time. Do you think he took accountability for what happened? No, 100 percent he did not. He did not. No, because at the same time, his wife was messaging um, another person that was relaying everything back to me. And I had all the other information. You got to gotta have them type of friends yeah. come back to you. Yeah. Little filing cabinet. Oh, yes. Those are the loyal ones right I there. I had all the messages. Hell of yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh, wow. But I, like, okay. like I said, Matt, like, I don't hold anything against anybody. No, he, no. He messed up. He did what he did. But it, it, it's crazy to me, Dakota, how these people can just tarnish somebody somebody's company or something so hard that they work for you know what i mean like who the fuck do you think you are like we're bringing you on or excuse me you guys are bringing these people on giving them yeah. job. i've seen it happen to somebody else yeah you, i'm not getting into that right now mm-hmm. but i've seen it happen to somebody else and i'm like who the fuck does this person who the fuck do people think that they are to try and just completely demolish somebody's Hard work, somebody's business that they built from the ground up. Like, who, why? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that that's anybody's intentions, man. Yeah. I think. No. I think you it's have. Some I mean, well, yeah, some, like, yeah. Maybe mm. one out of every hundred thousand people truly want to hurt you. They want to. They want to go after you. But like, I, even in his case, yeah. He what he did was childish. He, he. It is what it is. But I don't think that was his intention. I don't think his intention was to take away from anything. For sure. For sure. But I, I just think people they get caught up so deep into the web that they right. spun. It's just like, okay, well, okay. where can I go from here without looking terrible? So, so now he doesn't work for you. No, obviously Save not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, do you think that there's a, there's room for reconciliation? Like if this person really comes to you and says, okay, look, Dakota, my bad. I, I did some shit. I know I had no business doing it. You know what I mean? Like why did this, why didn't he even go to jail for that? You know what I mean? Like, so there's, I didn't, I didn't press charges. You did not press charges. No, no, no. You I just, could have. I called the cops to meet yeah. us there yeah. and had them, Basically escort him off of your property. Yeah, of, okay, of, of okay. the office. Yeah, um, and it it was more so. I knew where it was going to go. Yeah, and you I know. don't I don't have any intentions to sit here and and do thirteen fourteen year old boy stuff with you. I got we're you. grown men. We're grown men. I don't want you here right. because of what I've found. Yes, this is your chance to just go. get out. That's it. Would have gotten physical. Are you one of those? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'm not. I'm pussy. Like I'll, are, are I'll get my ass whooped. No, nah, see, I'm not afraid to throw hands, but at the uh, okay. same time, like I'm an adult. Like I no, I mean, I throw hands behind my show all day. I just know I will lose. But I, I, I will. So but I that have, doesn't make you a pussy. That I mean, that you stand up for what you believe in. Just for this, you can talk about anything else. <laughs> but if you come for the public affair, right. bitch, we fist to throw some hands. Yeah, you fucked. But yeah, I am gonna sure. lose, so I had to make sure the boys had my back. So I had to ask them yesterday. Yeah. If I'm getting my ass whipped, y'all gonna come and jump in? They said I'll yes. jump in so, with you. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, sure. I, well, my friend Penguin told me that the east penguin. That's a dope name. Yeah. I, well, that's his little nickname, and, <laughs> and he's so cute. He said, "You know, the north, south, the north, south, and east got you, like Waco, north, south, yeah, east Waco." Up. I was, I think that's so cute, and and they do because I went to South Waco, and they were all like, "We fuck with you." I was like, Thank dude, you. like yeah. most <laughs> everybody loves you. I love that. Thank you guys yeah, for sure. I I, I don't. That's a different conversation. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. there's always going to be those the, that little group, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. Them. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. I, I experience more love than hate. 100%. Absolutely. Listen. Okay, God, Dakota, I hate that we're running out of time. Fuck, I wish we had like three hours. I really, really <laughs> do. But, okay, so so Dakota Wimberly, uh, excuse me, Wimberly Woodworks, is it over or is it just beginning or is it still going? What's going on with that? It's on pause. It's on pause it's on at the pause. moment. Okay. And this is because you have a family that you're about to start. Yeah. So what are you doing now to make means or ends meet? So I have several sources of income. I'm yeah. partnered with Facebook. Um, yeah. You you are a big content yeah. creator. You, uh, you share your engagement all the time, which yeah. I that's amazing to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're making money off of Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you still have jobs that are going on with Wimberly Woodworks that you guys are generating revenue from? Yeah, we, just, we just finished the last one okay. um, literally two days ago. It's Sephora Dunzils. Like, yeah, yeah, it's gone. It, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry that that happened to you. It's okay. Yeah, Everything no. happens for a reason. Everything happens for, I yeah. say that. I say God does not put us through things that we can't handle. 100%. You know what? Mike was so shocked that I thank God at the Waco Awards. <laughs> and I did because I do believe in God. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. God puts us through things that we can't handle. It's true. Nobody thanks God anymore. Yeah. You know, me and God are tight. Except Morrow says that when we're going to heaven in the gates, he's going to be like, ain't that nigga gay? And, and 
<laughs> don't dig too deep. You don't know what I mean? Shut up. You know, no, okay. So, so what's next for you, Dakota? Like, what what are you doing now that that's just kind of getting your mind? I mean, I'm sure dealing with everything that went on and moving forward from it was difficult for you. You know? Yeah. Let's yeah. To, just before we no, segue, no, no, for sure, for sure. Like, go ahead. You you asked me, is yeah. there any room for reconciliation from yes. this guy? Yes. Um, I don't care for an apology. Mm. I just want him to be truthful. Okay. If you would, if you would tell your wife, look, I messed up. This is the truth. I'd, I, I mean, like I said, I already forgive him. So it, to me, it doesn't matter anything moving forward. Reconciliation. I, I still love the dude. He's a great dude. Mm. I mean, you, you did some stuff you shouldn't have done. He's had some issues. To me, yeah. he's, he's still a great guy. Yeah. But, you know, move on, tell the truth, be a man about it. And what's next for me is I actually just landed with a company called Datacon. Oh. Um, and I'm going to be a, a general superintendent for them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is it like, constru- what do they do there? Yeah. So it's, it's all commercial construction. Okay. So if you have any construction workers that, you know, Dude, I'm, I'm sure there's there's a lot. I yeah, just tell this. them, especially like the ones that don't speak English. Tell them that. Yeah, yeah, no sé mucho, pero todo lo puedo ayudar. Don't you just want to like have sex with Dakota? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dakota, stop it. Listen. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, you just really got red. You gonna make it? No, which it, means we can need we get to a end. fan? Can we get a fan? <laughs> Dakota, if you weren't with child right now and we didn't have any cameras rolling, there would be some things going on at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> okay, so so you're moving on. Do you think that you will go back to being self employed at some point? Uh that doesn't that doesn't leave. That doesn't, okay. Yeah. Even okay. if even once you've been self employed, you yeah, like it, it yeah. doesn't go away. No, yeah, I don't. I'm a whole fucking boss. Like I don't. Yeah, because <laughs> like, it's it's hard to go back and yeah. say yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go on a nine to five, and you're gonna tell me what to do all day. Well, every no day. way. I love my job. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. What do you do now? I have this full time job. What is it? They didn't pay me for the advertising. Uh huh. So that's it. Okay. <laughs> but it's really fun. Yeah. It's really fun. They love me, and they love the show, and they support the show. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, I just, I don't want people to focus on where I work. I want people to focus on this. They, they need to focus on this. They do, this you know, and they, and they do, which I'm very happy. And I will say that my full-time employer really fucks with this show. And they, yeah. they, they really cater to my schedule to come do this show. So That's I'm really awesome. grateful. It's, it's really grateful. What were you going to ask me? I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember. Okay. But I, I do hope, like, for you, I, I truly hope that this, this thing blows up to the point to one day where you're the guy that's needing employees. Thank you. Yeah. You know You know what? Like, at the end of the day, while I don't have anybody that works for me, Rogue Media Network and Mike and Allison are super invested in the public affair, and they do everything they can to make sure that it looks and sounds the best that it could. You know, they, they really cater to to my appointment times with, with studio time, all that. That's not I want to get into all that. But all I will say <laughs> is that I work with a really great team of people. Yeah, these people really, are really awesome. really You have to have a really good team of people that are invested in what you want. You know what I mean? And the public affair is all mine. You know, I started it, and, and we just, God, we've been in this going on three years. Can you believe that? shit holy shit <laughs> we're gonna have a thrust annuals for the public affair okay so so you will go back to being self-employed but right now you're just kind of taking a step back on things correct yeah yeah i just okay. i, I want to be i want to be the dad that i didn't have there you go so okay. it, that's that's more important to me than, yes. than anything else and this job came at the right time to give me the right opportunity to be that dad that's what's up do you do you one more question and then we really do have to go how do you find forgiveness for somebody that did that to you that because it, it really puts a damper on your business you know what i mean like they, they could have really succeeded almost succeeded and putting a bad name for your business you know what i mean and, and really dragging you guys through the ringer how do you sit back and say you know what but i do forgive this person at the end of the day because you can't give me a bad name i'm a good guy you are like and, and that yeah. and the thing is uh it, it's not it's not where you go it's who you become mm. and i don't care if i have 30 million in the bank or I have 13,000 in the That's bank. That's it. I'm, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be a nice person. And yeah. I, I, I can't, I've held on to stuff for so long in my life because of my, my childhood. Mm-hmm. I've been through much worse than any of that could have ever caused. Okay. And I still forgave those people. Yeah. So if I can forgive them, you, you can forgive anybody. I see. You know what I mean? And it's, you don't forgive people like that, that cliche thing. You don't forgive people for them. You forgive them for yourself. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It because is true. You need to Absolutely. live. Like you, it's your true. life, you, you only have one shot at this, man. Yes. And it's it's what can you do and who can you be? You know when they told us growing up that um you'll never get anywhere with a bad attitude? Yeah. That was like the most true fucking thing it is. that I learned doing the public affair. Yeah, unless it, you're a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. I've had people publicly attack me. You know what I mean? And and I it's not even all that serious. Like yeah. we I'm cool. Like don't 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It, it's weird. Dakota, shit. I wish we had seven hours. Unfortunately, we don't. Okay, so so you, you got the superintendent position. Yeah. Are you going to go back to singing anytime soon? Or? Maybe. I'd, yeah. I'm fixing you, to start streaming again. Can you sing us a little tune? Can you please just like a little 10 second? I don't no, know. Sing us I, I, need, I need a guitar. You do need the guitar? I didn't. Because I, I hide behind it. For sure. <laughs> you you can sing, Dakota. Don't play with us. Give us just a little something. A little. Th- what little... I'll do is I'll send you a clip that you can attach to this. I'll go home, I'll get a guitar, and I'll okay. send you a clip. Okay, we'll put it on the end of the episode, okay? You, you sure. got the child coming on the way. You're going to be a new dad, correct? This is your, your yeah. first child. Okay, so you excited. So we, we, have a th- we have a three-year-old, but that's her three-year-old with, with somebody right, else, right. which is... Okay. I, I love being a stepdad. That's what's up. It's a great thing. And now you're about to have your own real child. Dude, I, I, well, excuse I went me, your from, own child. <laughs> yeah. Man, I went from being this super hard individual to now, yeah. like, if I watch puppy videos, I start crying. You start crying. Or, like, little baby videos. I'm Are you bawling. having a son or a daughter? We're having a daughter. You're having a daughter. Yeah. Oh, Her shit. Her name is going to be Aspen Cheyenne. Aspen Cheyenne? Yeah. That is so country. I think that's I so cute. No. <laughs> Listen, Dakota, whatever you do going forward, I just want to wish you the best of luck. Thank okay. You. And I want you to know that I support you 100%. I think that everything that you're doing as far as your social media content, listen, as far as a content creator and pushing engagement with social media, you are doing the damn thing. And I just got to give you. you your props. No, you really, I, I really got to give it to you. Dakota was trying to give me some advice before the show. Listen, I've been doing this three years. Dakota, thank you so much. And, okay. <laughs> so uh, I will slide in your DMs if I do need some. And I will yeah, say that sure. like, in the three years that you've waited to be on to the public affair and just number one being patient with me number two just watching you go through all of that and bounce back i mm-hmm. just have a lot of respect for you so i just want you to know that no Thank matter you. no matter that. how hot i think you are with the tattoos and the cowboy hat like that's besides the point i'm not i don't want you to have a baby with me okay just the bonuses <laughs> is there anything else that you can leave us with before we go um man just just give everything you got to everything you do. That's it. That's it. Will you come back on the show so we can talk more? You wanna, y'all want a part two? In the future, yes. We'll part two. I would love to have you back on the show in the future. I know that we, we could have gotten into some deeper shit, but oh, oh, sure can. I hate it. I hate that we have to go. <laughs> Dakota, thank you so much for coming on to The Public Affair. For everybody tuning in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow Dakota Wimberly on Facebook. We can follow you at Dakota Wimberly. We yeah. just add you on social media. That's Dakota.Wimberly. Oh, somebody oh. stole the code one really long time ago. Oh, okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> somebody stole the public affair on fucking Twitter. Can you believe that shit? What? I don't know. I just put S O A N G G X X X. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of the Public Affair. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Coda. Thank you again so much for coming onto the show. I'm sorry that we didn't it's have more pleasure. time, but all the insight that you gave us in terms of your your business and everything like that and your life growing up. Just good luck to you. Okay, Thank you, bro. Yes. And before we go, let me give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Jay Pedal and Poke with Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and the entire family. Have you been? Have you been? To Jay Petal and Poke? I have not. You're going tonight. Let's they provide it. delicious savonies, savory Japanese crepes and Poke Bowls. They also have handcrafted Thai rolls ice cream for dessert, darling. You choose from a menu item or create your own, like I like to do, because I like to be in control. Locations on University Parks Drive and Hewitt Drive. Dakota, I do. I'm, I'm somewhat aggressive. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Order online at jpedaltx.com to Jay Petal and Poke. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Pollo Box and Audio with Jeffrey Montreal, home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and and audio systems. If you need some mods for your car, the wife needs some mods for her car. I do need for my truck. Uh, Boyo Box and Audio got you, bro. He put the um, the star lights in my car. The, the ceiling? Y- yes, he Don't did. Call me. Get my number from him. Call me. I, I, okay, I'm going to give him your number, okay? The star lights, the tint, the Apple Play car stereo, um, the auto start. The tint comes in handy for yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to leave that alone. Your one-stop shop to get everything done in one roof to Jeffrey Monreal. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, oh, to my girl, Rosalinda Perez with Rosalinda's insurance agency. She provides all insurance needs, including auto life, home, and everything that and she also provides notary services we all need that once or twice especially you know, you know it comes up when you don't know you know what i mean she can contact her with the number on the screen for all insurance increase habla español también to my girl rosalinda perez with rosalinda's insurance agency thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course the colton grim with funtown rv the top rv salesman over there colton is the top rv salesman at funtown rv in his office he's available anytime to put you and your family into the camper that you always wanted fifth wheels travel trailers and so much more colton does not stop until you and your family are absolutely happy, darling. Contact them with the number on the screen to set an appointment and look ASAP. The springtime is coming up perfect for RV season, correct? Yes, you guys can go out camping, and Colton Grimm is going to make sure that you guys get into the one that you guys want. Thank you so much, Colton, for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, though, another one of my new sponsors, Brothers Roofing and Remodeling with Jesus Sanchez from Mart, Texas, darling. That's right. He's a small construction business from Mart, specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. you got to protect your home from the 
crazy elements of the Texas weather with high quality work and affordable work, might I add, dotting follow on Facebook and call the number on the screen to Brothers Roofing and Remodeling with my boy Jesus Sanchez. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, the fat boy Nicholas and Botana, my boy Junior Banda, providing the best. The best, the best, and not the rest. Botana bowls, chamois, pickles, and more. My boy Junior Banda is out there with a menu of ton of different items. Make sure you guys hit him up with the number on the screen. Place your order right now to Fat Boy Michelle and Botana with my boy Junior Banda. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. He's got more and more on the way. I'm so proud of that guy, and he's definitely one of the biggest supporters of the show, and I truly appreciate everything he's done. And on a personal note, Junior Banda got my back. And that's what I'm going to say. Mm. Love that guy. Thank you so much to Fat Boy Michelin and Botana for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. To everybody tuning in, thank you guys again so much. Dakota, I'm really sorry that we don't have more time, bro. I really hey, we, am. We can part I, two it. Yeah, we're going to part two this shit. Let's we part are going to part two this shit. Best of luck to everything that you got going on in the future. To everybody tuning in, I've got more on the way. And don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.